Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports and videography. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make three easy glitch transitions like the ones you just saw. And I'm gonna give you some free presets so that you can easily make them without even having to think about it or anything. Anyways, let's get into this tutorial and our first transition. All right, so the first transition that we make is gonna be the square glitch transition. For this one, and for all of them actually, you're gonna to wanna to take five frames off the end of each clip. So you go to the cut point between your two clips and then you just hold shift in the left arrow or the right arrow to skip five frames and then command K to place your cuts. So let's go to the effects panel here and we're gonna search for the wave warp effect. So wave warp, there it is. We're gonna drag it onto the first half of this clip. So this is the clip that we're about to cut. And we wanna change our wave type from sine to square. And now we're going to keyframe some of these elements in the wave warp effect to give us this like blocky glitch effect. So we'll keep the direction at 90 degrees. We'll keyframe wave height and wave width. And we're just gonna go through and change these parameters kind of at random. We wanna make sure that they look a little different from frame to frame, but you don't need to go crazy with this. You want some that are like skinnier, some that are longer. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna take this wave warp effect, click Command C to copy it, Command V and copy it back onto the same effect. And we're just gonna change the direction from 90 degrees to zero degrees. So that now we have one wave warp effect that's giving us a vertical little glitch there. And then this other wave warp effect we just made is giving us a horizontal type of glitch. And this makes this effect a lot more complex and actually like sells it as a glitch. So you can see it's really messed up. But all we need to do now is because these two effects, the vertical and the horizontal wave warp have the same value at every single point, we gotta go to this other wave warp we just created down here and just mess up the values a little bit. This is just gonna help give some variety and a little bit of a more unique look to your glitch. You can even go through and change some of the values if you want. You don't have to, but you can. So I'm gonna say that's good for the sake of this tutorial. So. We play that back and you see you got a little glitch here. So now we're going to grab these two wave warp effects, highlight them both, command C, go to the next clip that we made, which is the start of the clip that was coming up, click command V to paste them. And again, all we're gonna go through and do is mess up these values, change the position of them. We'll change the actual number in some cases if we feel like it. And once you've messed these up, you have your square glitch effect. The next transition that we're gonna do is like a color emboss glitch transition, I guess we'll call it for this. So we got this clip right here. We're gonna take five frames off the start and five frames off the end. And we're gonna grab two effects, which are gonna be color emboss and offset. So let's search for offset first. We'll drag it onto the first clip. And then we're gonna look for color emboss. There it is. Drag it onto the first clip. And just like we did last time, all we're doing is keyframing and shifting parameters. So we're gonna keyframe shift to center, then we're gonna go to color emboss and we're gonna keyframe pretty much everything except for blend to original. And we'll immediately on the first frame begin making some adjustments here. So offset, you can see it just like, basically does like a motion tile type of effect that you would get an after effect, but it doesn't let you flip it. So that's what you're getting with offset and then color emboss are gonna really create the glitch effect here. So you can choose the direction. You can choose how much the color emboss is happening. So obviously this is like crazy. And then this is a little bit more subdued and you can choose the amount of contrast. So we're gonna go through and adjust that throughout. We'll change this so that it pops up in a couple different places. Now we got the bottom showing. And I'm just gonna kind of speed through this because I think you get the gist. You just gotta make this look so that it looks good to you realistically. You can do some that have less contrast. And actually I recommend that you do some that have like less of a glitch to them and then some that have more of a glitch so that it doesn't seem like an overwhelming type of effect. But you still wanna make sure that it's like you know, sufficient, this is a glitch effect. So we've got our offset and our color emboss effect keyframed here. So let's take these again, we're gonna copy. We'll go to the next clip, paste them. And then again, like we did last time, we're gonna mix up some of these values. So let's move this around a little bit. Copy this one, paste it here. Uh, this is all very random, but that's the beauty of glitch effects. You don't need to have any rhyme or reason to what you're doing. It just needs to look random and chaotic for like, 10 frames and then it's over and you've done the transition. <laughs> I'm gonna call that good. And if you look back at what we've done here, this is our color emboss and offset glitch effect. All right, the last effect that we're gonna do here is the echo glitch transition effect. 
This is kind of like a cool flash transition. There's other ways to do this that I've done in other transition videos that I've done, but I think this is a more controlled way of doing it. You can really like dial in the look that you like with this one. So we're gonna take five frames off of each clip. Again, this doesn't actually have to be five frames. Like if you want to do a six frame transition to take three frames off of each clip, or you want to do a longer transition, maybe take 10 frames off of each clip, you totally can. I just like doing five frames on each clip to get a 10 frame transition. That's what I feel like doing. All right, so let's go to our effects panel. We'll grab the echo effect, drag that onto our first clip here, and we're gonna keyframe every single parameter for this one. We'll start it on add, that's fine. So this already, you can see there's like a big flash here, so we don't need to do anything to the first frame. Let's go to the next frame and we're just gonna change things up. Maybe I'll change the blending mode to screen so that effect is a little bit more subdued. We can change the echo time here. Maybe create a little bit more of separation. That's pretty good. And let's give it two echoes and we'll move on to the next one. Let's go zero echoes. So now we have a little bit of a return to normal just for a sec here. And maybe we'll drop the intensity just a little bit so it's like a darker frame. And we'll just mess this up a little bit so it looks kind of hectic and crazy. Yeah, I think mean, that's pretty good. No rhyme or reason, just make it look how you like it. And let's grab this echo effect then, we'll command C to copy. We'll go to our next clip, command V to paste it. And maybe this time I'm gonna keep the, the blending mode on add the entire time. And I'm just gonna mess some of these up. So let's bring this back to there. I'll bring these forward. All right, and we're just gonna go through here and change the echo time to get a look that we kind of like. That's pretty good. We wanna make sure that we have something that's flashy. Now, after you mess up your echo effect on both the first clip and the last clip, this is what the echo glitch transition looks like. So that is three very easy, simple glitch transitions that you can create quickly and customize to your liking in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm dropping presets to these transitions like the ones that I just made on my website. The link for that's gonna be in the description. They're gonna be a free download. So if you want these presets, go get them. I'm gonna put like a start and an end for each of these three transitions. So just put the start on the first clip and the end on the second clip. And while you're on my website, I've also got some other assets up there. There's other transitions. I got my sports video LUT pack up there. Actually, you know what? Drop a comment and I'm just gonna pick a random comment using like some comment generator or something. And I'm gonna give someone the sports video LUT pack for free. So drop a comment. If you wanna get the sports video LUT pack for free, go download these free presets for this glitch transition and all this stuff that we just did right here. If you like this video, then subscribe because I post a lot of videos about sports videography and video editing. I'd love to have you around for those if that's what you're into. And until next time, peace.